yeah that's the temperature in my workshop yesterday it was at zero degrees in here so it's warmed up quite a bit but not enough to work out here and as you can see in my workshop then it is a complete mess because I just run out here and I drop off all my tools because I don't want to be out here very long so I am in the process of creating my workshop downstairs let's take a look into the laundry room and off to the side and here we go I have a space here that's about 10 by 10 I just clean this up I've got an area for some of my walking sticks that I need to carve and some smaller sticks I've got an area in the corner here for some of my smaller pieces for some of my wood spirits and other things I'd like to carve I've got an area over here for some other projects uh, this is a start of a guitar I've been building uh, it's been about three years in the making but uh, there are all the pieces for that otherwise I don't have much in here but this is what I want to focus on today my new wood carving table that I just built let's take a look at it I uh, had an old dining table that the kids had used as an art table for many years so I took off the top and I cut it into a two by two section. As you can see, I laminated two pieces together. I didn't worry about making the ends look pretty or anything. This is just a work table, so I didn't make it pretty. I made it functional. So I laminated two pieces together. I used two by four construction and just butt joints with screws. On the bottom, I had some, these were leftover pieces from the tabletop. I'm gonna put sandbags on here so it gives it a little extra weight. So when I'm working on it, it will not bounce around on me. The tabletop, I put five eighths inch holes, about three inches on center. I did have to uh, omit some holes like here because I have a hinge, metal hinge on the back. So I couldn't drill through there. And then on the back side here, I had to move the holes over a little bit. And I'll show you in a little bit. I have some uh, pieces on the bottom because this is a hinged top. So like I said, this is a hinge top. I have hinged two hinges on this side over here, and I can raise this up then. I put some dowel holes in here with some dowels that I can change the placement of so I can have this at different heights. I can have it here, take these out, and I can put it here. Um, I have two other positions available for that, um, but I don't think I'm going to need too many positions. Um, I think these two will probably be the ones that I'll use the most. I didn't do anything too fancy as far as connecting the boards to this um, just connect these in this kind of manner seems to be working just fine um, not sure how it's going to be once i start working on it i may have to beef these up a little bit this one cracked on me a little bit so i might have to replace that board so the way this works is i have pegs that I have just hooked up to the side here in holes and I can just take those out as needed. But then what I do is I will put, I can put these pegs in here. And adjust the height.
And then I cut these wedges, different sizes up um, in the shop. And what I can do then, pound those in, and then that holds this piece in, in place. And then I can adjust the angle as I work on them. And I've got a nice height for this for me to work on. And uh, this shouldn't go, like I said, I need to add some sandbags on here so this doesn't wobble on me. I think that's going to help uh, firm it up. So I'm not going to carve anything right now. I just want to put this on and show you how it worked. So that's my newest addition to my shop. The other addition I have is I made this bench hook which is just a uh, quarter inch piece of scrap plywood I had laying around. Put some, glued some boards on um, one edge here, and then glued two boards here and here. And this is for smaller pieces. Come onto the, onto the uh, table here, so these boards will stop it against here. And I have a uh, bench dog here to prevent it from sliding this way too far. This is for working for smaller pieces of wood. I can put this up here, work the piece, and I've got a nice stop here to prevent it from getting away from me. So, another thing for my shop.